Hey guys, it's Pooper Smith here again with you. Long, maybe even longer story. So, today we are going to do some good old firewall. About past maybe three or four months, I learned that a lot of my games that weren't working was because I did not allow them to be allowed through the firewall, um, if you must say. So, first you must go into the control panel. Go into systems and security, open up Windows Firewall, and make sure you don't do any of the subs because then they'll just get turned around and you won't really be in the place you want to be. Alright, so this is actually your Windows Firewall right here. Um, and you can do not a whole lot of stuff right here, but you can do um, networking stuff and change your, like, yeah, change your home network and public network and all that fun stuff. Um, so you can go here, um, change notification settings, and this is the same page that you go to to turn Windows Firewall on or off. So if you want to turn your Windows Firewall off because you have some restricted games, uh, some, res some restricted sites, um, then you would go in here, turn Windows Firewall off. It's definitely not recommended because that is how you get a lot of viruses really quickly and a lot of spamware and a lot of spyware so this is where you go to turn it off public network you almost always 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 want to have this on because public network is scary how much crap goes through it especially if you're in like a coffee shop just please always have this on unless you know that you're going to be scared then turn it off and uh, do what you need to do as pretty much as quickly as possible and don't go onto the internet while that is off. So you want to go in here. Um, if you want to be really confused, go into here. Um, this is where all the really, really fun and confusing stuff is at. So uh, this is where you want to look. Windows firewalls on inbound connections that do not match rules are blocked. Outbound connections that do not match a rule are allowed. So this is what you want to look for when you go into inbound and outbound rules because inbound rules, uh, this is where you just want to know to uh, look at where it's at. So let's say that you have maybe a game that isn't working. So let's say that my Call of Duty Black Ops multiplayer was not working. Um, either because somehow it got turned off or somehow when it popped up to say allow or uh, disable, you accidentally click disable. And this is where you want to go because usually what it'll do is it'll be gray like that. And that is not what you want, especially if that is what you want to be using. So you go into here, you click on it, and do the old, good old fashioned enable. Um, let's go in here. Um, not really a whole lot of stuff. This is monitoring. Um, you really don't need a whole lot of this, um, unless you really want to get confused. I don't really want to get confused. But, uh, this is where you'd be at for firewall, all the rules. Um, this is a bit confusing. But then connections and securities and all that really fun stuff. So, not a whole lot you can do into here. Not that I have found out at least. But you can do a lot of stuff in here. Um, I actually need to enable these because I play that game a lot and I don't know why it was annoying. Alright, so that's about it and um, if you have any more questions, uh, email us on our Facebook page or uh, message us on the commenting wall, which is not a very good idea, but it might work. Anyways, so that's about it guys. Um, do the whole good old fashioned like it, comment on it, and subscribe, but you know, no one ever actually does that. So, <laughs> that's about it, guys. And uh, if you thought this video was cool, then uh, tell your friends about us. And uh, that's about it, guys. Alright. Bye.